Lainey and welcome to my channel. If you are new to my channel, I am so glad that you are here. And if you are returning to my channel, oh my goodness, thank you so much. I really, really appreciate it. Little disclaimer if I sound a little stuffed up, a little nasally, it's because I caught my husband's cold and it is a doozy, you guys, a doozy. So before we hop into today's video, which I am very excited about, I have to do my question of the day. If you are new here, I do a question at the beginning of every video to help me get to know you and you to get to know me. But today's question of the day is I need advice slash fam. What are your best go-to cold remedies? I need to kick this thing to the curb because I'm so tired. I really don't feel that bad. I'm just hot, tired so tired so please leave down in the comments your go-to cold remedies now let's dive on into today's video okay you guys i am so excited about this because the last time i filmed this this was such a hit a while back probably a year or so now i did a video on the ardell accent magnetic lashes i love them i think they're great i enjoyed wearing them and it seems like the lash fam really liked hearing about it i definitely think it was one of my more viewed videos and commented on videos so that gives me the uh, vibe that you guys enjoyed seeing it so I had to pick up these these are the Ardell full strip bag magnetic lashes and I'm, I'm kind of in the lash mood today I'm, I'm not normally a big false lash wearer because I struggle you guys I struggle I'm getting the hang finally of doing a wing but I still have not mastered putting on false eyelashes I, I just I'm terrible at it I'm terrible at it I did find the Ardell magnetic a accents were very easy for me to apply I did not struggle with them like I do with regular falsies but these might be different these are the full-on full-on magnetic lashes full strip they are the double wispies they look really beautiful I do feel like Ardell makes really nice lashes but can I master putting on full strip magnetic i don't know i am going to trim these down because lashes are always way bigger than my actual lashes and i actually think i'm going to um, put them together to trim so that way i know they're ending up the same size i don't want to cut a magnet in half so there's that piece there grab the next one and do the same thing since my last video was so long, I thought it'd be kind of fun to do a short and sweet video for you guys because I know there's all different type of YouTube watchers out there. There's the ones who like the long videos and those who like the short videos, so I like to do a mixture. Okay, so they are all trimmed up. I'm going to bring you in real close so we can see how application goes. I have not put on mascara. I thought that might make it a little more difficult if my lashes are too on the firm side. Okay, so looking at the package, it does have directions. It just says, gently remove upper magnetic lash from tray and lay on top of your natural lash line. Gently remove under magnetic lash from tray and place underneath your natural lash line. So sounds easy. Ho hopefully it is. Okay, so I'm going to lay that on top. Oh, these are dramatic. <laughs> All right. And then... Okay, I feel, I feel like that's up there pretty good. I'm going to take my mirror and I'm going to hold it up. I'm going to try to tilt the... Come back, camera. I'm going to try to tilt the bottom lash to match the tilt of the top lash. And hold my mirror where I can see. Okay. Okay. That was actually really simple. I didn't get this part very good. Okay. That, no, no, that, didn't, that did not work. That did not work. Okay, let's try that again. You know, I think I'm going to not take their advice, and I'm going to try to put the bottom... No, that won't work. Never mind. They know what they're doing. They created these things. Okay, I'm going to use my triple zoom in mirror. Maybe that will help. Let's try this again. So I was having issues with the front. Maybe if I do that and then that. Oh, um... No, that, that looks horrible. See, but it's like, how do you get the ends down close to the lash line? Oh, son of a gun. Okay, let's see. Uh, oh, you guys. This is a little on the difficult side, because I can't not blink. Okay, so the ends are not even remotely, remotely in place at all. I'm going to try to lay it on the lid a little bit, and maybe when this one magnetizes it'll pull it into place 
just touch my eyeball. Now, last time I could kind of, there we go. Okay, I kind of, I, I kind of got this end here. I'm happy with that. That worked better, but the front still looks real weird. Okay, this outside edge looks pretty good, but the inside edge is totally, totally jacked up, you guys. Oh, I think I, I think I just got it. So again, this works just like with the accents. If you slide them separate directions, you can kind of finagle them where you need to, but you do have to get them lined up really good at first, otherwise it doesn't work. Now, I feel like these are like, this is my problem with false lashes. Like, really dramatic ones look strange on me. Maybe it's because I'm not used to seeing myself with them, but like, this looks so weird on the, like, it's like super, super lash, no lash. Maybe I can wiggle them in this way. Sorry if I keep going off of camera, guys. I'm trying to get these things. Okay. I guess I can live with that. Um, no, that part still looks really weird. But. So I'm doing the opposite direction trick, sliding them the opposite direction from each other, like sliding the magnets opposite directions. But okay, I don't think that's too terrible. That's not, that's not terrible. Okay, let's see if I can do it again. That'll be the uh, real, that's kind of important. Oh, that one went on a little bit better, but see, I don't know if you guys can see on camera, that is not anywhere near my lash line. See, they're, they're literally sliding off of my lashes. They're like a quarter inch down my lash right now. Like, how are they gonna stay there all night if they keep doing that? I don't know, guys, I just, I don't know. Okay, like right now, I don't think they, right now, I don't think they look horrible they're just like too much on my eyes like these look so fake and they look very heavy on my like that's one thing I don't like about false lashes my coworker and I were talking about this she has the same problem false eyelashes make my lids look heavy and sleepy and they're sliding this one is sliding down the other one's not I'm gonna try this one one more time let me try putting on a little bit of mascara and see if that helps them grip Maybe that'll give them something a little bit extra to grip onto. Okay guys, that is the finished, the finished thing and I, I just, I have some thoughts about them. Truthfully, guys, if you are going to do false magnetic lashes, the accents are the way to go. These look far too heavy on the eye. They are not staying put. They're sliding around. They're not easy to apply. Honestly, with how much effort this was to get this, I could definitely just take the time and use regular glue strip lashes. These are going to have to be a hard, hard pass for me. Again. Goodbye, Ardell Magnetic Lashes. I'm not even happy we met. Boo. Oh, wait. Maybe I can cut these into accents. Come back. Okay, I'll Okay, try. guys, I have to check back in with you because I tossed them in the trash and then I was like, wait a second. I might be able to cut these into accents and I did. And now I'm happy. And, and here's the best part. I just cut one set in half, placed both on one, excuse me, placed one half on each eye. And so I'm getting double the amount of accents by cutting the, uh, full strip down into an accent. Let me bring you in real fast so you can see what this looks like, but like this is kind of a fun, like playful look I've got going on here. So maybe this wasn't a total fail. I mean, definitely hated them as full strips, but for accents on the outer corners, for a little extra va va voom, a little playful flirty eye, um, can't say I hate that. I'm not, I'm not mad about it. I know this video was short and sweet, but I wanted to share it with you guys because I was curious and I figure you guys were too. So let me know if you've tried the Full Strip Magnetic Lashes by Ardell. What were your thoughts? Definitely leave them down below. Before I close out this video, we have to do my shout out of the day. Today's shout out of the day is Brittany Tesse, Tessier. I'm sorry if I'm saying that wrong. She actually commented on one of my older videos that is actually my most viewed video. It was on a Kardashian 3-in-1 hairstyling tool. She said, I can't figure it out. Super gimmick, shake my head. It doesn't even straighten well. Oh, and there's Abel in the background for you guys. He's saying hi. And I totally agree, Brittany. I returned that thing. It was definitely not what I hoped it would be. Thank you so much for commenting and sharing your thoughts. 
and I am so glad that you are here and a part of the Lash family. Wherever you are guys, I hope you are having a wonderful day. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. Just go ahead, click that, click the subscribe button. It's free, it's easy, it's painless, and it's fun because we have some amazing members of the Lash fam, and my uh, fall, false lashes are literally already falling off of my eye, and I've had them on for like maybe 10 minutes, so perfect. <laughs> But yes, make sure you subscribe, and as always, please try to stay positive, because at the end of the day, that is truly all we can try to do. Thank you so much for watching. Have a wonderful day.